fantastic and in this video art tutorial we're going to be drawing this lovely little puffer fish so grab your choice of art making mediums and let's make some art all right so we're going to be drawing a puffer fish uh, for this guy all right here we go so we're going to begin with two eyes so i'm going to do one circle just like that, and then I'm gonna connect a line to that one, and I'm gonna draw another almost circle right beside it. So two circles. In each circle, I'm going to draw another circle. And in each of those, we're gonna draw pupils. So I'm gonna draw one big circle and one small circle in each one. And then we can color in the rest of the pupil. Black, leaving just those two circles nice and white. All right, we're gonna give our fish a mouth. So we're gonna draw a nice curvy line around and up from one eye around and up to beside the other. Curving line on the end. Next, we're gonna draw another curving line below, just like that. All right, so next we're gonna draw part of a circle going up, just like that on either side. And then we're gonna imagine now we have another one. So we're gonna draw dotted lines, dashed lines I mean, whoosh, to make the illusion of a body. In between there, we're gonna add some quills. Okay, we gotta add the fish's tail. So we're gonna have two lines come out. Then on a diagonal, and zigzag them down to make a lovely little fish tail. And I like to add some fishtail texture with some diagonal lines, just like that. I'm also going to add a couple polka dots here and there on my tail. Make it decorative. All right, other things we need. We need some fish, a fish fin. So we're going to add a fin on the body, just like that. And then from the tip down to the bottom, we're going to add some lines in there to add some fin texture. Lovely. And he's waving at a friend, so we're gonna have another little fin peeking out over on the other side, just like that. Like, hey, I'm over here. I'm super scared, but smiling at the same time. That's why I'm all puffed up. Okay, line across the middle. They have quite white bellies. And we're gonna add some gills, just like that. We'll add some polka dots. First with just some dots. And then some circles, just a few here and there along the belly. All right, time to make this puffer fish magical. So we're gonna add some, in those dashed lines, between the lines, we're gonna add some triangular shapes out. So we go up and in. We're gonna go along and make the big ones first along the outside, just like that. And then you can add a second layer of smaller ones in different angles along the inside. Just a few on the belly, not too many. We can even have some peeking out on the other side. And we're just gonna make them smaller so they look like they're just poking out on the opposite side. As of course, our quillfish here is a uh, well round. Okay, we're floating the ocean. Of course, we need some bubbles. So we're gonna draw three circles around our fish and then curving triangles in each one to make a shiny spot on our bubbles, just like that. All right, and once you're done, you are ready to color. Grab a tan or brown or whatever color you want to be the top color of your fish. And we're going to color first in half or nearly all, three quarters of the quills popping out here and leave one side, the same side on all of them, to be the highlight. We're gonna leave a little bit of white, and that way it's just gonna create a nice little soft highlight. Create some variety. Of course, that's a principle of design. Add some variety to our fish, so it's not all solid color. We wanna have some interesting things happening, and one way to do that is to add some variety in color. Okay, just like that. 
And then you can go ahead and color in some of the in-between spaces. Again, we're trying to leave some of that white so we don't want to get rid of all of it. use this color on the beginning part of the tail around those spots and maybe I'll use it to highlight those lines oh and maybe I'll color in the polka dots to that same color oh yeah and I forgot some of these quills at the bottom there we go oh yeah how cool is that okay now I'll grab a second color and we're gonna fit a uh, uh, light light color okay and you can go ahead and finish coloring in some of the other details. I'll leave a lot of this guy white, but maybe I'm gonna color in spots and fins, highlight different areas with the second color here. Maybe just the face is yellow. So I wanna keep a lot of this belly white like that. Okay, finally I'm gonna grab a blue and then I'll do a little bit of shading. So we're gonna go around the eyes with the Nice little blue, and of course we're gonna go along the bottom of the bubbles to add some shading or value. With blue, you can even add some whoosh, water texture in your background if you desire. It's really up to you. Um, what you wanna do, add your own artist flavor, of course. Okay, I need a gray. We're gonna take that gray and we're gonna go ahead and, first of all, I need to flip it around, there we go. Go underneath their eyes, like that. I'm gonna shade in the eyes, shade this fin in the back there, go along the bottom of the mouth, shade that underneath the fin, along the belly, whoosh, just a big, nice big line like that, gray. Okay, gorgeous, around the gills, and just like that, your lovely pufferfish quillfish is done. Thank you so much for watching this episode. Please make sure that you hit that like button and subscribe to this channel so I can continue to make amazing art lessons for you. Oh yeah. Well, if you are an art educator or a teacher and you're looking for some cool art lessons for your classroom, no matter what kind of teacher you are, for any grade, check out the Ms. Artastic Teachers Pay Teachers store. There I have over 700 art lessons and of course it's always growing and transforming. So make sure you check it out frequently. But it's the Ms. Artastic Teachers Pay Teachers store and you're gonna find art lessons that are fully planned and easy to use. And you're gonna find some cool art activities to use for all the seasons all the holidays, and so much more. You're gonna find amazing art lessons that are integrating the seasons, the holidays, elements of art, principles of design, and art history, and so much more, my friends. It's a fabulous resource, so check it out. If you're looking for some awesome art ideas for your classroom, you can head on over to teacherspayteachers.com. In that search bar, just click it, and you can type in Ms. Artastic, same as this YouTube channel. There I am, you can click that, and that's gonna bring you to this page. And you can navigate it a variety of ways. You can go down, scroll, and see what's new. Um, these are usually my featured products that are usually brand new. Or if you go down to the side here, you're gonna find the categories of different things. You can click Artivity Books to find my art um, activity books that are fully integrated with the elements and principles. You can find artists and art history, art sub resources, back to school, Christmas, distance learning, and so much more principles of design. Here it's all organized for different themes or the holidays and seasons or types of learning, including sketchbooks and social emotional learning and all of the above. So make sure you check it out, Ms. Artastic on Teachers Pay Teachers, and thank you so much for watching. I'm Ms. Artastic, signing off.